Love is for tomorrow. Reunion. Kerry came to Paris at least once a year for the Art Paris Fair. The newly renovated Grand Palais offered a breathtaking venue. Time was this year's central theme. She recalled Rose Kennedy's words which were used for one of the exhibits. It has been said, time heals all wounds. I do not agree. The wounds remain. In time, the mind, protecting its sanity, covers them with scar tissue and the pain lessens, but it's never gone. Time had passed and the pain was still strong. There was no visible scar tissue, but the pain lingered as strong as ever. The irony of the persistence of memory. <laughs> it's been a year since painting her own rendition of Dali's persistence of memory. Dali's craggy walks in Catalonia were replaced by Treasury Beach, a remote spot in the parish of Saint Elizabeth in her birthplace, Jamaica. Those soft melting watches on a beach hung like drying laundry or camembert cheese melting in the sun. Art history had taught her about the symbolic meaning of clocks. <laughs> Carrie glanced at her watch. The Vajeron Constantine had been her engagement gift from Duane. It was 9.05 p.m. She sat alone in Pavillon Les Doyen, the city of love, thinking about the man who broke her heart when he died. She and Duane had been here several times. Her favorite was when he proposed at sunset in a quiet corner of the Jardin du Luxembourg. She had made phone calls all the way to the Pavillon Les Doyen, telling the world that they were engaged. Now she sat there, alone, surrounded by lovers, enjoying the mild evening. At least the coffee had gotten better since her last visit. Carrie sipped on her grand creme. Time made some things better. Her wounds were not one of them. She scanned the restaurant again. There were mostly young couples on tiny tables and a small group of American tourists talking about the next stop of their Euro trip. The person she had come to meet still wasn't here. His being late did not bode well with her. They were already taking rest by meeting up. Kerry got out her phone. Her rendezvous partner had told her to be careful. Scrolling through her Guardian project app, which was cryptographically secure, she started with message and dating three weeks back. At 10.19, Nigel said, I came across something. We need to meet. Phone is not secure. Kerry said at 10.25, Second night of Art Paris, Le Doyen at nine. Kerry returned to her office. Thank you for watching. Be sure to download a free copy of Love is for Tomorrow Reunion on Amazon. Find Love is for Tomorrow on Facebook. And do not forget to subscribe. All the links are below.